Baro Katir is here today at the Cronia Relay on Saturn. Let's go check out what he's got, see what's worth some platinum. So apparently, if we go to Hide Owned right here, we're looking at... This is a brand new thing, the Domestic Deus Drone. This looks cool. This looks, actually looks pretty cool. I like this. So this is a drone? I might buy a bunch of these. That's kind of cool looking for a drone. It almost looks like a toilet, <laughs> in a way. But, uh, alright, let's see what else he has. So that's 800 ducats, 650,000 credits if you guys are interested in that. We have Prime Smite Grenier, 350 ducats, 140,000 credits. You can pick this up and sell this for platinum. Basically, any primed mod here, you guys are going to be able to sell these for platinum. However, I don't normally recommend selling these for platinum just because the profit margin on them is not really that great. But if you have a lot of extra ducats and a lot of extra credits, we have Prime T to charge. This is going to be huge, definitely. Let's see, Tactical Pump is Reload Speed, and then Primed Pistol Ammo Mutation. So I'd say Primed, primed, heated, pist primed heated Charge is probably the best thing that you guys can grab from Borrow today if you are looking to make extra Platinum. This is 350 ducats, 175,000 credits. Primed Pistol Ammo Mutation is 400 ducats, 140,000 Credits and then Prime Tactical Pump is 300 ducats and 140,000 credits. And let's see if he has any other. Yeah, he's got Prime Smite Corrupted, so that's another one you could get to uh, to sell for platinum. I do recommend that you get all of these at least for yourself if you don't have them. Definitely Prime T to charge number one. Uh, the ammo and the tactical, like all the, they're all useful to be completely honest. Like there's there's reasons to have and and use all of them. But uh, he also has the Prisma Koi Sentinel Tail for 200 ducats, 250,000 credits. A Prisma Sigil, which if I can't... There we go. You can kind of see it on a Naros right there. Redeemer Alexis Skin, 325 ducats, 250,000 credits. That is just a skin for the Redeemer, so if you are short on ducats, I wouldn't... I would skip this for now, that's not a big deal. Prisma Angstrom, this is Mastery Rank, so that is definitely a, yeah, go ahead and get that if you don't have it, if you, uh, you know, still need Mastery Rank. Same thing with the Volcar Wraith, so the Volcar is 450 ducats, 300,000 credits, Prisma Angstrom is 475,000, 475 ducats, 210,000 credits. This is cool that this is coming here, the Prisma Angstrom, because this coming in two days, let's see if I can find it here. Look, Echoes of Daviri right here. We have the Angstrom is coming. So you're going to be able to put an Incarnate Adapter. This is week two new. So this is this Sunday in two days. You're going to be able to get that. So, yes, if uh, you don't have this, grab it for Master Rank and possibly grab it for the uh, Incarnate Adapter. 30, three day resource booster. Uh, Tigris Elixir Skin. Prisma Kubro Glyph. The Scimitar Sidonia Skin. The Lotus Ephemera for... I'll show you guys what this one looks like. This kind of cool looking. It's just got the Lotus Petals coming off of it. And this kind of does look good if you... My Naros, I guess, has both the same energy color. But you could use two different colors. And these do look pretty good if you swap around and use both, both colors on them. So the whole thing's not just blue. But that's definitely cool looking. I like that Ephemera. Uh, Zaku Prex card. We have... The Tanukai shoulder plates, Tanukai chest plate, and Tanukai leg plates. These kind of are, I guess, in the form of samurai. They kind of have like a very samurai look, so that's cool. Ephemera, we have a Don't Be Afraid poster. We have the Rishantur cult Cyandana, which you guys can see here. Again, that's not going to be all glossy. I always have this. This is like one of my favorite ephemeras, and I always have it on. Transmuter Operator Hood. We have the Fey Path Ephemera, which is always here. Sands of Naros Blueprint. And if you show up as a Naros, like I am, when you see Borrow, this will also show up as well with the Borrow Void Signal. So this is like just an extra way to get cosmetics. If you guys aren't aware, Tenocon is coming up. And I have made this as a bonus for all Patreons. Basically, it's going to tell you the total number of credits you need for everything Borrow has, total number of ducats. I have been updating this, so it does list everything Borrow's ever had. I'm going to update it again today. And it also does minus credit zone, minus total ducat zone. So you can start clicking off that you own stuff. It'll reduce the price. And that overall tells you how many more ducats and credits you need before you know you have enough and you're ready for everything that Borrow has. So if you are getting the Borrow Tenocon ticket, 
and you are uh, just looking for an easier way to prepare for that, I got your back. There it is. It is a uh, it is a Patreon reward for all tiers for anybody that becomes a Patreon up and up through Borrow existing, and then that's only going to wind up as a tier two reward. There are a lot of bonuses there, a lot of cool things you guys can check out. So Borrow does have some good stuff today. It is possible to make platinum. Thank you guys for hanging out, and uh, I will see you guys on Twitch. Come hang out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.